Hi, I'm Mike Frisch. Welcome to Fishing in the Midwest. This week we're on Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border. We're going to start with some perch through the ice and then it's some open water action from Big Stone. Come along. Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border is one of my favorite fishing destinations. Because Big Stone opens for walleye fishing a few weeks before the traditional Minnesota inland opener, I make several trips there every spring to get a jump on the walleye season. While Big Stone has long had a reputation as a good walleye lake, the lake's perch population is booming as well. Today we'll sample some of the lake's perch action during late summer and give you a taste of Big Stone's hot early season walleye bite. Before that, however, we're on the ice with Big Stone guide Tanner Arndt chasing winter perch, a bite you can get in on right now. Because this can be a here today, gone tomorrow affair, Tanner and I realize drilling holes and moving around is critical to our success. What do you think, Tanner? Not huge, but you know what? It's still a good time. My favorite kind of fish is one that'll pull that. <laughs> <laughs> the spot we elected to start on had yielded good catches of nice perch the day before. Today, however, only a couple of small fish were active, so it was time to move. Today we are using the new Cadrial Ice Auger. This innovative auger utilizes a cordless electric drill for power, so it's reliable, lightweight, and as you can see, cuts holes quickly. This spot has some fish and some nicer ones. A reward for our staying on the move. There we go. So Tanner, when you're guiding for these perch in the winter, and we're out in the basin in this particular body of water, how important is it to stay on the move to try to find these perch? Well, it's very important. Like you say, you're out in the basin, so there's not a lot of structure that's holding them into one area. So, you know, these schools can move yep. in 15 minutes. Sure. So, they're roaming, so you kind of got to roam to stay with them. Yep. All right, well, maybe we found some. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice fish. That is a good one. Let's take a quick break from the fishing and check out Cabela's. You know, when you come to a Cabela's store, there's so many different things to see. Rods, reels, the fish, the aquarium. But they offer a lot of services, too. They got live bait. They got a lot of selections of live bait, minnows, crawlers. When I came this morning, they were boxing up uh, some, some wax worms for ice fishing. And they provide bait of the highest quality, so you can get all your bait and all that stuff in one stop. The other thing is you can get a fishing license and they provide fishing licenses from a variety of states. So it's very convenient if you're gonna be fishing a number of different states in a year, like I go to, I don't know, six or eight states a year, I can get all my fishing licenses with one stop. So you can get bait, you can get fishing license and all the best equipment right here at your Cabela's store. They provide more than equipment, they provide service. Cabela's makes our fishing more successful. Oh yeah. Stan? On the move. I get it. Certainly. And you know the other thing. It helps. There's a better one. That's a nice fish there. Yep. The other thing that helps is you know using your sonar because I mean if I'm not seeing them in a few minutes I move. How about you? Yeah, it's just, you know, you don't give spot too long without seeing fish. Just because, like you say, when these fish are schooled up, you know they're there. Yep. So, it looks like we got ourselves a school here. Yep. Should we keep a few for dinner, Tanner? I think we'll let you keep yours, and mine might go back in the drink. All right. The perch are starting to bite. When we come back, we'll have more of this action. Fishing the Midwest is presented by beautiful Cavatogama Lake gateway to Voyagers National Park. Evinrude, introducing the all-new Evinrude E-Tech G2, the outboard of the future, available today. Get to Cabela's for all your hunting, fishing, camping, and shooting needs. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Otter Outdoors, tougher, stronger, smarter. Vexilar, own the ice. 68. 69, 70 bucks. Get them hidden without taking a hit. Cabela's Depth Master Combo. Great price, lifetime guarantee. 
That's practical. Lake Cabotogoma in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or a group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogoma Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Larson FX Boats. Built by second and third generation boat builders with pride in their hearts, quality in their minds, precision in their hands, and a passion for fishing. Every FX is made for anglers by anglers who know quality when they see it. Every time you fish, every single cast, every single day. Larson FX does the job and does it right. We're proud to build boats we stand behind with a transferable five to life limited warranty. But you'll be proud to own one. Spend your day on the water and go wherever you want to go and fish for whatever you want to fish for. You work hard for your money and deserve a boat that works as hard as you do. FX, the boat that catches it all. See more online and at your local FX dealer. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexilog, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexilar technology, and Vexilar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexilar.com. Waterproof, windproof, and for 130 bucks, weatherman proof. Cabela's Rainy River Parka. Great price, lifetime guarantee. That's practical. We know staying on the move is important. Tanner shared his thoughts on how long he likes to stay in an area. You know, Tanner, we talked about moving because these fish roam. You know, they, they'll kind of stay in the same area, but roam around in that area. How long do you typically give an area or a hole, I guess, until you move into that, that next spot? Well, um, you know, when these fish are roaming the basin like this, um, you know, you can drill a hole and sometimes get close to them. Give them 5, 10, you know, maybe even 15 minutes tops. But then you get moving on to the next hole and you get closer to that school. Today, Tanner and I are using a combination of baits, a buckshot flutter spoon and smaller tungsten jigs. Here are Tanner's thoughts on using these baits together. Well, with you having the spoon on there, you know, spoons definitely bring fish into an area. It attracts them. Um, and you'll catch, you know, the aggressive fish on that bigger spoon. But when you got some finicky fish that are in the school, um, you can pick some of them out with the tungsten compared to the spoon that they're probably not going to bite. Tanner and I both use Vexlar sonar units for our winter fishing. Here's why. Oh, you got a nice one there, Mike. You tell me, is that a cleaner? Yeah. All right. You know, when I guide in the summer, I mean, I'm constantly on the move looking for active fish for my clients and I know that's part of the secret or one of the keys to your success as a winter guide what is a, a winter guide or anybody who wants to be more successful staying active moving to find fish you know what are some things that help you do that well just having a winter sonar unit uh, with you when you're mo moving through all these holes you, so that way you know you know even if it's a light bite or if they're not biting at all, but you at least know that there's fish there. Right. Just knowing fish in the area gives you confidence, and I think that's a big part of it too. And, and, and you're spot on. I mean, I know in, in the summer when I guide, when I can see fish on my screen and show them to my clients, I mean, that gives them more confidence, gives me more confidence, and you know, that's a big part of it. Like right here, I'm getting a little more confident right now. <laughs> this new spot is really starting to pay off. Tanner and I are putting together a nice catch for a fish fry, one of the tasty rewards yeah. of a winter day spent chasing Big Stone's perch. Sniffed around a little bit. The 
decided to eat it. Let me get this guy back. Staying on the move led to today's nice catch, and the otter portable fish houses we use make moving from spot to spot really slick. They tow easily, set up quickly, and are super warm once our fishing spot is found. These fish just kept on biting. What a fun day. The big stone perch are biting right now, and Tanner Arndt is available to guide you. Or you can rent one of the fish houses he and his dad, Artie, have available now too. When we come back, we'll join Artie on Big Stone for some open water walleye action. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Impulse. Excite the bite with scent, color, and action. Ray Marine. Don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. Northland Fishing Tackle. Made by fishermen for fishermen. Clear Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Stay at the shore and explore North Iowa. P-Line. Because we fish. Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border has a booming jumbo perch population that has turned into one of the Midwest's top winter perch fishing destinations. Come for the perch, but don't forget the lake's numerous walleyes, big bluegills, and slab crappies. In addition to the fishing, the area offers a top bait shop, fish house rentals, great lodging, and fine dining as well. Come to Big Stone for a winter fishing trip, and you'll like the area so much that you might just decide to make it your next home, or at least your home away from home. P-Line, premium fishing lines for all fish species during all seasons. High-performance copolymers built to handle a wide range of fishing situations. Fluorocarbon coated lines that are sensitive and invisible like a fluorocarbon, yet with the manageability of mono. Super strong Teflon coated braids for ultra long casts and extreme sensitivity. And premium fluorocarbons, including the all new award winning Tactical. P-Line, a line for all fish species during all seasons. Don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. With Ray Marine's superior high fidelity chirp sonar vision, you'll never look at fishing the same again. You're already the predator above the water, now go find your prey below it. Ray Marine. Visit raymarine.com to get in on the action. Proving yet again that the best never rest, Otter introduces Otter Thermal Tech, the proprietary full thermal shelf found on every 2015 Otter shelter. Beginning with the all-new XDH hub shelters and the all-new lightweight one-man XD hideout, on up to the ever-popular XD and XD Pro Series shelters that have earned a near-legendary reputation for unmatched toughness and durability. At Otter, we know stopping at good enough is way overrated. This ice season, see for yourself how the best just keep getting better. Artie Art is one of the hot sticks when it comes to walleye fishing on Big Stone Lake. A couple springs ago, Artie and I got together for a day of early season walleye fishing. We had to move around some to find the fish, but when we did, here's what happened. We relocated to another rock point and Artie got bit on a jig and a minnow right out off the tip here. So we slowed up to kind of try to fan cast it. And be, again, because Big stone allows multiple lines. We put a bobber out and the bobber went down just about immediately. That's probably a good sign. We'll see what happens here. Fish. Walleye. Is it? Yep. Look at them coming at clear water. Oh man. That is a pretty sight. Good job, Artie. <laughs> There's nothing better than that thud of the jig. That jig in a minnow is my favorite way to fish. You just work it slow and then it just, boom, vibrates right through the rod. Right off the edge of the rocks. That one will eat well, won't it? Yeah. The northern pike are coming back, you know, 5, 10, 12 pounds. Uh, we're seeing the largemouth bass population picking up out here. Uh, Big Stone's kind of known on the largemouth. Uh, they get big. There's nice, nice largemouth bass out here as well. Bite, fish, good fish. Real good fish. Big fish? Not bad. Clear the bobber. Clear the bobber. Clear the bobber. We can clear the bobber. 
That one was a little deeper off the rocks, Mike. <sighs> what I you... moved out to a new spot back there and got dirty water in here too. That's helping, don't you think? Yeah, we got some carp rolling up in there that's helping with this clear water. On Big Stone, one thing we always do is we chase carp. <laughs> I've heard that about you. People say, why do you chase carp? Because they dirty the water and the wallies like the dirty water. Ooh, this might be a good one, huh? Oh, there is down That's there. That's not a bad fish. Mm. He does not like the boat. No, that's one thing with clear water. They know, they kind of know what's next. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, look at him. That's a good fish. He's chunk. He's a good fish. He fell for the Northland fireball minnow trick. There's a lot of fish that fall for that, tr <laughs> that, that trick out here. Artie, you know, you talked about that jig in a minnow. That's the other thing about Big Stone. There's some opportunities to fish a little earlier than we inland Minnesotans are used to, correct? Yeah, you know, border water opens three weeks earlier than inland water does, and that gives us an awesome head start on that male bite shallow. And this is exactly how we fish them, is the Northland fireball jigging a minnow right up into shallow water as they're spawning. And then we get a fast bite, you get lots of fish fishing like that. That's a good one. This shallow bite that we're on right now there's a bed of rocks that comes out here very, very shallow, one to three foot solid boulders. And what we're doing is we're, we're in a midday bite and these fish are laying just off the rocks. So we're not getting them up on top of the rocks so much, but we're sitting out in about six, seven foot just off of the rocks and that's where they're laying right now. Fish. Fish. Good one. Man, you are on them. Good one. All right. You know, you catch another one, I'm sliding back here. <laughs> you kicked me out of here, right? Yeah, I did. I, I knew where I wanted to be. This is one of those local, uh, one of those local hot spot, keep it to yourself kind of deals, isn't it? Sometimes it gets that way, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Look at that guy. Yes. Woo. That looks like a... Uh, that's a nice fish there, boy. That, uh, an awful lot like the last one we just got. This there. one's bigger. Look at that nice color on there. Nice, pretty gold. Twenty-three and a half inches. I'm warning you, Mike, I'm in a groove. I know you are. I'm not liking this that much. <sighs> All sizes and colors. That's another chunk. You know, if anything, this tells you that you need to stay on the move. I mean, this is what, our fourth spot today? Yep. Fourth spot. And like four in a row. There you go, do something with your fish. <laughs> Arthur, he does as he pleases. So far, we've seen Big Stone's winter perch and open water walleyes. When we come back, we'll show you another open water Big Stone fishing option. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Larson FX Series, the boat that catches it all. Salmo, insist on Salmo. Big Stone Lake Tourism, the Midwest's new winter hotspot. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. Now, there's a way to enjoy all your old home movies and photos on any modern device you like. Let iMemories digitize and archive them for you, so you can easily view them, edit them, and share them online with others. It's the best way to make sure images of your family and friends will never fade, and neither will your memories. Visit iMemories.com for details. Impulse Soft Plastics. 
143% more effective than the competition. And the best alternative to live bait. Unique colors, actions, scents. Impulse soft plastics catch more fish, period. Still ice fishing with the old heavy gas augers? Tired of having to wash your hands because they smell like gasoline? Or sweating too much while you're cranking on the old hand auger? Check out this revolutionary product. It's called the K-Drill and it's lightweight. It's only nine pounds and it's specifically designed for your cordless brushless drill. It's got a heavy duty aluminum shaft and a tool steel design blade that's gonna change the way you ice fish. Hole hop around or reopen some old holes. Check out icefishingtoday.com. A boat ride on the water, a concert in the shadow of legends, a day of fishing in one of the premier fisheries in the Midwest. These are just a few of the wonderful attractions Clear Lake has to offer. Nestled in northern Iowa, Clear Lake is known for its beautiful scenic landscapes, top-rated beaches, and yearly events. From the annual winter dance party to the blockbuster 4th of July celebration, Clear Lake has something for everyone. Stay at the shore and explore. Introducing a revolutionary concept in outboards. A choice. Now with the Evan Rood E-Tech G2, you can choose unrivaled performance, superior fuel economy, and the cleanest combustion outboard on the planet. Choose from hundreds of color combinations to perfectly match your boat. And choose five years or 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Experience the power of choice at chooseyouretech.com. Earlier, we showed you the good winter perch action that can be had right now on Big Stone Lake. Open water anglers can, however, also get in on this bite. Though a bit unconventional, crankbait trolling using planer boards is a method that can put a bunch of fish in the live well on Big Stone in short order. Check this action out. Fishing guide Brad Jensen and I are fishing a unique pattern. We're trolling crankbaits on planer boards, a common walleye fishing presentation, but today, jumbo perch are the target. Double. This is a perch too. Trolling crankbaits, crankbaits for, per, for perch. Should I get mine out of your way? You over or under? I'm under. Okay. Triple. Triple. You got a nice one there. I do. I had a nice one. <laughs> mine flopped off. I'll grab this outside one. Okay. Or the inside one. Another nice perch. It's a great uh, search tool. You know, when they're out here on the flats or they're on the brake line and they're scattered, this is a quick and easy way to go in and find these perch. Number four hornets with yeah. about 100 feet of line out the back. And as you can tell, they really smack them. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one there. Brad likes a loose drag setting when trolling crankbaits on braided line to allow for some forgiveness when a fish aggressively eats the bait. I like when that happens. <laughs> if I had to guess off the top of my head, I believe this is a perch. Ooh, Brad, look at that guy. That's a nice perch. That's a good perch there, boy. That's a good sized perch. Yep. That's a little over 10 inches. Look at that. Big, fat. I like that. Wow. And you know what? <laughs> a 10, 10 and a half inch fish, whatever. I mean, when he hit it, game on. Put yours out to about 110, Mike, and I'll put this one out to about 90. Okay. When trolling crankbaits, the amount of line let out helps determine running depth. The more line out, the deeper the bait dives. Line counter rod reel combinations, like the Cabela's Depth Masters, are designed for this particular fishing situation. I'm thinking perch. Not up on the surface yet, though, like they normally do. God, this is fun. There he is. He is a perch. Oh yeah. Good 
Yep. <laughs> wow. Another typical big stone perch right there. Today we are using offshore planter boards with tattle flags. These flags tattle when a fish bites. There you go. There we go. Perch fish on, on the board. board. Nice perch. Look at that brute. What do you got, Brad? Oh, mine is bigger. <laughs> this time. This time. This time. I, you, I think we'll put mine in the live well. You have to let the host win once in a while. Well, once you? in a while. We both have a fish on at yeah. the same time again. Um, is this what you call a double? I think so. Yep. The other thing about this, Brad, is you know we've talked about color, the depth that we're fishing. Um, but one of the things that I also like about this style of fishing is, you know, because it's that reactionary bite, I mean, we're fishing a little number four hornet, and these fish either have it, ooh, yours looks like a nice one. Yeah. These fish either have it or they don't. You really don't have to set the hook, do you? Nope. Nope, when they hit it, that rod just rattles. They, they hook themselves. Whoa. Look at that guy. Look there. at that one, Brad. There you go. Look at here now, too. Yeah. I got aced again. Didn't oh, I? well, I am but the guest. <laughs> <laughs> Still not giving you your bait back. Yeah. <laughs> he's got the only color hornet I got there. And he's whacking them on that thing. But again, pull the bait along two miles an hour, the fish hits it. He either gets it or he doesn't. No hook setting, no trying to feel the bite. This is um, this is easy stuff. Anybody can do this. Yep, and you can do this on any body of water. I don't care. It it does not have to be on this particular body of water to do this. That That's the thing, Brad. You know, we talked about it earlier. Pulling crankbaits, a lot of people don't think about that for perch, but not only does it work on this body of water, but any place across the Midwest where you got good populations of jumbo perch, crankbaits when the water's warm in the summer are gonna be deadly baits to, to trigger them as well. Yep, exactly. As you can see, Big Stone has fishing options galore. The area also has good lodging and fine dining options for the out of town visitor as well. If you haven't been there already, Big Stone should be on your fishing bucket list. Big Stone's got some great open water fishing opportunities and those perch are biting through the ice right now. Hey, from all of us at Fishing Midwest, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time. And as always, remember to include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure.